Welcome back to Project Runway. I've had a brief hiatus, about a year. I finally got the last of the Rubathon published. So now it's time to... Oh, shit. Fix some things that were broken. I had to make some repairs to my skid pan. See how much that was rubbing? But ultimately this was squished like a soda can. So it could be made of aluminum foil, aluminum foil, or I just was a little hard on it. Ask Rachel's ass how that feels. What we're gonna do today is I'm going to build a skid pan out of cardboard. I'm gonna take the cardboard pieces that I've fabricated to a metal person. They're gonna cut it out of metal and then I'm gonna make an actual skid pan out of metal. Is your tooth still gone? No. Show the people. <laughs> there are skid pans available, ready-made for purchase. But as you know, as a fabricator, I feel it's best to try to do it myself and to fail miserably and then purchase it anyway after spending money. Yeah. This is ARB Overland cardboard. Go ahead and get a read on that. Now so this cardboard special. runs about fifty dollars. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Yeah, of course I wrote why that by you, hand. Why did you buy special cardboard if it's? I just... said I wrote it by hand. That's my handwriting. Okay, so you're joking. Are you <laughs> joking? By asking me that. I'm tired. It's okay. not really art. It, that's a joke. <laughs> First thing I did was I cut these two sheets and I measured them. And I know I'm not big on tools and measuring. And these measure three and a half inches by twenty-one inches. I'm gonna make the two sides to the skid pan, and I'm gonna just guess on the angle. I'm gonna put it like right about there. Smart. And I'm gonna try to get this general angle right here. So one three and a half inch piece is gonna be the part that mounts to the frame. And then the other one is gonna be the angle piece. And again, remember, we're just gonna kind of guess with the uh, angle here. Oop, it's leaking a bit off the tip. It's excited. Call that pre-glue. You can't get pregnant from pre-glue. Nice little bead right here. Fascinating. I'm just gonna hold this for a minute. You can, you can do something else. <laughs> ah, shit. That's why it's hot. Ah, that seems pretty solid. Let's get a little bit of weld on the back side here, just to kind of shore it up. You know what I mean? If you just lay it inside of it and use it as a mold, it'll that's give okay. You, it'll, this is the exact. It'll give you the same angle. It's that's, the exact angle right that's here. That's how angles work. And oh shit. You just have to put the next stick in the hole. And this is all... It's okay, just put it in there, it'll melt. Shoot, didn't mean to do that. Okay. And as that's drying, I will keep the exact same angle. Genius. <laughs> I waited a year for this. <laughs> Hope you're coming out with some new stuff soon. <laughs> oh, I am, brother. I got some good shit on the... That's some something real nice cooking up for all you people that stuck around and this, held, held out. This felt overwhelming for the last year. I've labeled these with X's, so I remember what's the top and what's the bottom. <laughs> now I'm going to use these rare earth magnets. Wakanda forever. What? I said Wakanda forever. <laughs> yeah, Wakanda. Um, I'm going to use these rare earth magnets, and I'm going to magnetize these to the frame. Once these are in place, underneath the Land Cruiser, I'm gonna measure the distance and cut a piece of cardboard that fits, completing the skid pan like that, right? So I'll have the, that part of the skid pan done. I think people are just focused on the tooth. I'm just thinking you made this way more complicated than Let's let's magnetize it under the truck. I'm seeing a problem. What's the problem? Well, there are some spots in the uh, on the frame that are riveted on, so this cardboard isn't going to sit flush. 
Yeah, I'll we'll just dig a hole where the rivet is so it'll just fit around it. Yeah, I know. Okay. I don't know where exactly. Put a little bit of to like. Put the skid pan though. You know what? I could just. I'm gonna go by off, off of where the other one mounts. So we'll start right about where that frame is. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Just put something sticky on the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something else. And the three that are gonna be in the way. We'll say X is down, yeah? And we'll start right at the frame mounts. X is down, start at the frame mounts. I'm gonna do that for the other side real quick. I've made what I like to call a series of engineering marks. Right here, right here, right there, right there, right there, right there. So I'm gonna cut out around those so we can mount the cardboard flush to the frame and get an accurate measurement. Make sure you get every one of my neck rolls. Don't, don't do that. It's one down. This is already looking like something perfect, like a custom thing. That one in particular looks pretty good. Yeah. You always do better on the second round of stuff anyway. I'll put a link if anybody wants to not build their own, they just want to buy one on eBay, I'll sh send you a link to what I was going to get. I'm going to take my rare earth magnet. See that? See how it sticks like that? Ah, oh, shit. Yes. I'm going to place the magnet Heavy breathing. in certain predetermined spots to hold the cardboard in place. I need more magnets. Shit. I just, I didn't want to use a clamp. Because I was worried the cardboard would compress. So I was going to use magnets, and I freaking lost all my dumbass magnets. Well, if you use more than one, they might be. I found them! I found the magnets I purchased! These are way better and super cool! There we go. Alright. Okay, let me get on that side. Genius. Got in a clamp. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Fucking garbage idiot. <laughs> you glad you found them? My magnets? Mm -hmm. I'm actually glad I bought them. Clamp doesn't crush the cardboard like at Why all. Why would it matter? It's not like you're making like an actual mold, like poured metal mold. You want me to hold it? I don't know. It's 20 and a quarter. Right? I don't know, I can't see that side. Got a T right there. For top. Okay, and then the bottom. See, it's different. It's like 23. Bottom's 23 and a half. And then the length, we know, is already 21 inches. All right, let's do some major stuff. Let's do some. How do I do that? Because it's a rhombus. Yeah. So do the top and the bottom and then connect the... Okay. Yeah, we'll do the bottom. What difference? The widest is point. Do yeah, the widest 23, point. 23 and a half. Now you want to find the middle of that. What do you mean? You don't want to just do it the length for that here because then it would be the wrong... Yeah. So find the middle and measure the 21 inches What's the middle here. of 23 and a half? Um, I would use my phone. <laughs> <Siri. laughs> 23 and a half. 11.75. So what's that in inches? 11 and three, and three quarters. quarters. 11 and three quarters is right here. I don't know if this is perfectly straight. It's but... okay. Okay, so what's the what's half of 20 and a quarter? 10 and an eighth. 10 and an eighth? Yeah. There. And measure that whole thing to make sure we got 20 and a quarter, just to be sure. Oh, good thinking. Ooh. Yeah, 20 and a quarter. <laughs> Obviously, we measured once. So I figure that's, if two people are measuring once, that's measuring twice. How's it look on your end? Just a hair over. What about at the back end, back corner? That end looks fine. This end looks, this end looks good by my shoe. This okay. end is just like Here, if I quarter, bring like just barely. How about now? I think we'll have some give. That's one thing about metal. You got some give. I don't think you really need it. Just hold it. 
Do you want me to glue it? Dude, is that not perfect? Sure. It's a skin pan! <laughs> I'm fucking brilliant. All you gotta do, honey, is, no. Just take the whole thing off, put glue on the underside, and then set it down in the right spot. Or not. Is that, is that where it's supposed to be? Can you tell? Move it a little bit closer to the gun. Just a little bit in. Oh, shit. You don't need to do that. But, like, it doesn't need to look pretty. I don't know what you're... It pushes it into the groove better. It makes a better seal. I've never used top glue gun. I wouldn't know. So what I'll do is, like you said, I'll lay a bead and then I'll put it in place. Sound good? Yep. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might be a little rusty with this episode, but it's okay. we're just getting back in the saddle, you know? Yep. There's a lot more to come. Uh, foreshadowing. A lot more. What do you mean? Well, that's the whole point of foreshadowing, honey. It's not really telling Yeah, me. but do I not know? Well, you kind of know. <laughs> Two things that I'm going to do for the skid pan that I probably won't film is the front piece. I'm going to make a front piece right here that's going to dip down to clear the exhaust. And then I'm also going to have a rear piece that also will dip down in points. And then I'm gonna actually have gussets to reinforce the edges. That hole right there, and then up against the edge here. I mean, actually, I'll just come over there and watch you flush, yeah? That's about a quarter inch past that piece. So that's how it's gonna look. I'll weld this piece right here, and I'll make sure it clears the drive shaft. And then I'll weld another piece down here to clear this bit. We made the skid pound out of skid pound. Mm. <laughs> we made the skid pan out of cardboard. I've got it most of the way there. I have the general idea of what I want. Now we'll get a cut out of metal. Looking for feedback, what you guys think as far as metal thickness. I'm gonna pretty much weld it in the same way. I'll do the two angles first. I'll clamp those into place. Then the metal piece on the bottom, you know, we'll do a little bending. So I'll tack it so I have some movement and some freedom. Thanks again for watching Project Wrong Way. Hoping to make some more episodes. I appreciate you guys that stuck around for the, uh, the dark days. But there's a lot coming. A lot more. And uh, there's some interesting things in the works. I think you guys will be excited. Yep, this is Rubathon prep as well. So I got to do that. And then I have a box to put in. Thanks for watching. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can. Stephen Hawking could walk Stop. if I could... Stop. Or Helen Keller could hear. <laughs>